as you can see my T-Rex 450 has been decapitated I put the scorpion motor on here and uh, scorpion motors do not have a flat spot on the motor shaft so when you tighten your pinion down you're just tighten it to a plain old round shaft and uh, I guess it's pretty easy for that pinion to slip which mine did you should really take, if you get a scorpion motor or any motor that has a round shaft on it without a flat spot, please do yourself a favor and get a Dremel or, I mean, even anything you can use to grind a flat spot onto this thing. Um, I've got a lot of damage here. Whole head's been destroyed on my motor shaft and the pinion slip. So I was doing some half pyro flips. I was probably uh, one to three foot from the ground. And I just, as soon as it got inverted, I heard a, uh, I heard the motor rev. And as soon as it revved, I gave it some negative pitch. It did not respond. And it just kept going down. It crashed, landed right on the head. So, grinding wheel, whatever. Uh, what I would suggest though is to take a plastic bag, put the motor inside of the plastic bag, and pop the shaft through the plastic bag. That way when you grind it, none of the metal flakes are going to get down inside your motor and stick to the magnets. But do yourself a favor, definitely get some, uh, get something to put a flat spot on your, pinion, on your motor shaft if your motor shaft does not have a flat spot. It'll save you some hassle and trouble because eventually that thing's probably bound to slip on you. So, just a quick tip.